Um, my name is Bethany Heidenreich, and I'm a general surgery resident at William Beaumont Army Medical Center in El Paso, Texas. And today I'm going to be talking about the lymph node, the quality of lymph node dissection at our institution, and then specifically looking at the impact of number of lymph nodes on survival. I have nothing to disclose, and these views represent those of the authors and not of the United States Army or the Department of Defense. So just to quick review of the lymph node staging for lung cancer. Staging is based on the location of the positive lymph nodes. It is not based on a number that is positive. Um, so for an N1 node, that's anything that's hilar or interlobar. And then for an N2 node, that's anything that's in positive in the mediastinum. The reason why this is important is because there's a current discussion going on in thoracic oncology about what is the definition of a quality lymph node dissection. Um, and it varies across different societies. We're going to be looking today at the Commission on Cancer, who recommends 10 regional lymph nodes. So the background for the Commission on Cancer is a program of the American College of Surgeons, and it accredits cancer centers uh, around the nation, including our own institution at William Beaumont. And they publish three different um, accountability or quality measures. The lowest measure is a surveillance measure, which is based on very limited evidence and is only used for um, gathering data and information about different metrics that they're studying. And that's the level that we're going to be looking at today. So the Commission on Cancer Quality um, Measure 10 RLN is a surveillance measure, as I mentioned. And the specific criteria, it states that you need to pathologically evaluate 10 or more regional lymph nodes for all stage one and stage two non-small cell lung cancer that have been resected. And they're saying that this applies now to any cases that have been diagnosed since 2010. So the purpose of our study is to look at the quality of our lymph node um, dissection at our institution as it applies to this measure, and then also evaluate whether or not this measure has an impact on survival. Uh, our hypothesis is actually that the stations, rather than the number of node, is going to be more important and valuable in um, accurately staging the patient and improving outcomes. So we think that the number may not be as important um, as, as it may be in this measure. This, we performed a retrospective uh, review of the ACTOR data, and the ACTOR database is the cancer registry used by all of the Department of Defense, and it's in following the recommendations of the Commission on Cancer as a, an accredited um, cancer center. And we looked at all resected lung cancers from the years 2005 to 2015. We identified a total of 83 cases, the majority of which were male, aged 60 to 69. They had either a current or previous smoking history, and the majority of them were white and non-Hispanic. The majority of the cancers were adenocarcinoma, less than two centimeters, poorly differentiated, and stage one pathologically. Looking at our operative procedures, the majority of the surgeries we performed were lobectomies on the right side. And interestingly, this showed that the right side actually were more often found to have less than 10 lymph nodes. And not surprisingly, the pneumonectomies had a much higher rate of getting greater than 10 lymph nodes. So performing the logistic regression, the left side actually was almost three times more likely than the right side to have greater than 10 lymph nodes. And the uh, lobectomies and pneumonectomies were almost five times more likely than a wedge resection to have greater than 10 lymph nodes. So looking specifically at our compliance with this measure, we took those 83 cases and then limited those only to the inclusion criteria of the measure, which was stage one and stage two non-small cell. That limited our number further down to 62. And then if you look at only our cases from 2010 to 2015, that was 28 cases. And 32% of those cases had greater than 10 lymph nodes evaluated. But the question doesn't end there. Did this impact survival was the second part of our purpose. So looking at the Kaplan-Meier curve, that top curve is greater than 10 and the bottom is less than 10. And it does appear to be trending towards significance. However, our study was um, 
underpowered, and so you can't draw any conclusions or significance um, from these curves. It is interesting to note that this includes patients that had zero lymph nodes evaluated, which were about seven cases. And if you take those cases out, and now you're evaluating only cases that had one to nine lymph nodes evaluated compared to 10, that gap narrows on the curve. And you can see that it actually overlaps in a couple places, showing that there is no correlation between the number of lymph nodes and survival. But again, this is not powered, so we can't um, draw any significance or, or definite conclusions from this. So, in our discussion, um, looking at our institution over the past uh, 10 years, we definitely are a low volume center, and we had low compliance with the Commission on Cancer Surveillance Measure. However, it is a surveillance measure. That's why they um, are publishing this. They want to gather information and draw conclusions on whether or not it's significant to have those 10 regional lymph nodes. Um, this study is underpowered to show significance as it pertains to survival. However, we are currently undergoing research using all of the DOD actor um, database, which is, is definitely powered with over 1,000 cases that we're evaluating with the same measures to look at the impact of this, the number of lymph nodes on survival. Um, and so far, it's supporting our hypothesis that it's not impacting survival significantly. Um, so for moving forward, the conclusion we um, would hope for and suggest is that the Commission on Cancer and the Actor Database, they actually don't gather any information whatsoever about the stations that have been biopsied in lung cancer cases. Um, and there are, if, since that's the basis for staging lung cancer, it's an important that a cancer registry used for the quality, evaluating your quality, needs to be capturing that data to be able to look at outcomes such as ours and whether or not the, the lymph node uh, station sampling as compared to the number of lymph nodes may have a greater impact on survival. <laughs>